Okay, hi. We're back in the last segment uh, for the evening and we're covering uh, this last dish. It's eggplant, abundant. And just to let you know, what we've done is we've just gone ahead with what's in the fridge and what's in the pantry. Okay, we haven't gone to any real extremes. The only thing we did buy was just a extra, extra um, eggplant. The eggplant was already here, so we had a look and we decided we'd do this, this, this and this. Okay, this is going to be a curry. For those that enjoy curries, uh, this is what we're doing. We're doing an eggplant one. Is that a visitors, a vegetarian, so we uh, came in for that. We're going to use a little bit of chilli, uh, coconut milk. This is homemade, homemade, uh, gama, gama masala, okay? And uh, yeah, roasted and churned ourselves. But we're going to add some of this uh, king uh, mustard. We've got our own pepper, salt, um, yeah, we've got uh, leek, uh, onions, and I'm just going to quickly show you how I'm going to cut that, uh, eggplant, and we've got garlic. So today we've been using three types of garlics, fresh for the hummus, uh, ground garlic, so dehydrated and grounded into a powder. We use that for our sauce, and we're using these pickled garlics for the last dish, they come in the jar and they're going to really pop this uh, particular particular dish. Oh yeah, this was the, uh, the uh, ground garlic, okay, so that has been used. And so we're going to, um, so for those that haven't joined us, Marshall Lane said there's some new people there. Uh, the best way to cut the onions, uh, you peel them, uh, you cut them uh, this way, and then you just slice this way. So I'll, this has already been done, but just my, just holding it firm. This is the root part. We keep that intact so the whole thing doesn't fall apart. So you just slice this way. I won't go again because I'll create a new slice. Uh, and then we just slice this way. Can you see? Uh, down this way. And then all we have to do is just slice down and we end up with diced onions. Okay? So that's what we've done here. Make sure you've got your fingers at the back and your fingernail protects all that. Uh, same with the, uh, the leg, wash it really well. And with the uh, eggplant, just a rough, just a rough, um, doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be cooked. I'm just going to lower this tower just to make it safe. Uh, and yeah, if it's as big as that, maybe an extra cut here and an extra cut there, and it'll almost even and they'll cook evenly. Okay, so that's what we've got, and that's what we're going to deal with on this last segment. But before, while I do all this, I'm going to add it to a hot, to a hot pan. Um, Caterina is going to share three of the major qualities in essential oils. So we're going to use black pepper, and uh, for those that haven't been tuned in, black pepper is really good for digestion. It's high in antioxidants. Um, it's also good for uh, rheumatism, arthritis, uh, and, and all those benefits. And uh, did I miss out on any? I think I've covered all. So yeah, and promotes uh, yeah, uh, yeah, benefit. It's good for digestion. Okay, so it enhances the flavour of the food, mm -hmm. and you add a benefit. You get all those what I just read out. Okay, Kavuna is going to cover three of the major uh, properties. Of essential oils. So they have phenols, which cleans the receptor sites of your cells, Se secretorpins, erasing correct info cellular memory, and then your monoterpins restore back to God's original info into your DNA. And then Vito is going to go through the history. Yep. I'm going to do history, but before we go to the history, okay, a good wallop of uh, olive oil uh, in a heavy pan, and we're going to put all our uh, onions and legs into this. Those that aren't aware, there's a whole range of different uh, essential oils from lemongrass, lemon, lime, marjoram, etc., etc. There's just so many of them. Uh, carrot seed oil, cardamom, 
than this. This is pretty intense there. Um, okay, so I'll cover the history. Uh, cover it in. Okay, you just add uh, salt and pepper um, to that. Uh, so cover it in. Is going to add some salt and pepper to the onions while they sweat, and then uh, the history. I'm going to quickly just cover the history of the central laws all the way back to uh, uh, biblical times. Baby Jesus who received myrrh, frankincense, and gold. And you ask yourself, why can they just give them more precious uh, gems? Uh, well, frankincense back in those days, pound per pound was uh, equal to gold, if not more. So the value of frankincense and myrrh were very good. And of course, as um, baby Jesus was born, they needed frankincense, which is uh, especially myrrh, which is very good for giving birth uh, during that time. The Egyptians used essential oils for embalming. Uh, back in those days, the Romans and the Turks used them in uh, the bathhouses for the aromas, for relaxing and so forth. The um, chemists back in 1940-45, around about that time, a French man, uh, working in the laboratory, uh, got severely, severely burned. Something blew up uh, in the lab, and uh, he went straight for what he thought was a vat of water. Uh, and in fact, it was a vat of lavender oil. So he dipped his uh, burning hands in there, and he found that he didn't get any uh, severe um, consequences from it. There was no scarring, no secondary infection. And, so, and they really saved his hands. That's quite a, remarkable. Uh, this guy called Maurice Gattier-Posser. Did I pronounce that right? Do any French people? <laughs> <laughs> PhD in French cosmetic chemist. That's what he was. So that was a man that uh, spearheaded once again a dying art that, you know, uh, for many, many years it just lay dormant. We've been using it since the world. Way back in time. This man here resurfaced it again and today we're using it in the culinary. By the way, the French are well known for using essential oils in cooking. The English are well known for using it uh, topically and so they rub it on their bodies. And uh, the, the Germans are great for uh, inhaling the essential oils. So I'll bring it in. It takes three seconds for the essential oil to reach the limpid part of the brain. It starts working within three seconds, which is quite amazing. Uh, but the thing I want to cover this. Yeah. And can I say that uh, Marjolaine is going to introduce after the session uh, the uh, essential laws of, of the Bible, is that what it's called? Yes. yes. Okay. Vitaflex. I don't know if you already know, but at the end, you know that every part of your organ and your body is connected to your feet. Chris, did you know that? Hey, we've got uh, and Anna? Yeah. Whoa! Okay, we're in tune here. So, what you can do is uh, you can massage your feet and apply a different oil for a different part of your body, like, for example, your eyes, or your spine, your stomach. And the oils, when applied properly, like the English, it only takes two minutes to reach the area. It goes into the blood system, it only takes two minutes. That is just amazing. Um, so that's that. Can I come that enough? Do you recommend that? Well, you know, Vito, yeah. when your body yes. has the oils, it stays in your body yes. as long as it needs it. Yes. But when you're not well, it actually stays longer. Well, there's a reason for that. Yeah. Because your body needs to absorb more of it. Mm, so perfect. it's quite amazing. You know, I saw um, this lady, this is uh, very impressive, she had uh, a stroke, so the only thing she could move was nothing. So she was in bed, she couldn't move anything. The whole body was just frozen. She was in her 80s, she had a stroke. And so her granddaughter was next to her by the bed, and she texted uh, someone who knew a little bit more and said, this is what's happening, what shall I do? And they said, do you have um, I mean, the, the oil they recommended, the essential oil? Yes. She goes, no, well, I've got this lavender. Uh, and they said, it doesn't matter, just use it. So the granddaughter was using the lavender and just applying it on her face and around her body. And uh, within the next day, she was able to move her mouth. 
And then the other recommendation was need for to, need to rape yeah, the, uh, the elderly lady to, to take uh, yes. as much as she could of Ninja Red, which is very high antioxidant drink that uh, Young Living also put together, and there's four essential oils in that drink. So not only is it a superfood, but it gets delivered very quickly. So within five days, she was walking down the hallway. Yeah, that was, yeah. So that was an amazing story. I mean, I, was, I saw it. I was just like, whoa. So, anyway, we're going back to the body. Because Marshall and Carla covered this a bit too quickly in the first segment. So there's nine systems in our body that uh, the body needs to function correctly. So we have the endocrine system. What works really well with that? There are many, but these are just some. Uh, frankincense, if you apply frankincense, it helps to support the endocrine system. Um, there's the cardiovascular system, and I'm pointing out the oils that you can get in this particular kit, which are 12, and these are the 12 oils that I'm uh, picking out. Um, the cardiovascular system, you can use uh, Peace and Calming, which is also in that particular uh, bundle. Mm -hmm. Lavender is also in there too, and lemon. So these are the uh, three oils that help that system. Then you have the muscular skeletal system. How am I going, Dom? Thumbs up with Dom. Do we have Bella in yes. that system? Uh, okay. Bella. We have Bella. All of we them. Have, um, pain away. We have pain away in there too, do we? Oh, okay. We have Panaway, mm. uh, Peppermint, and we definitely have Lavender. Yes. So all of those oils are actually in that kit. That's amazing. The immune system. Uh, lemon, Feeves. Oh, Feeves is amazing. That's like another story. Mm -hmm. uh, frankincense is back there again. The nervous system. We have Frankie. We have Lavender. Peace and Calming. Whoa. Um, Emotions. The, uh, emotional. Okay. You know, we've been going through a time where there's a lot of emotions at the moment. And to get out of that rut, emotion, they recommend lemon, Frankie, and peace and calming. Okay, this is, a, and then we're down to the last uh, three uh, digestive systems. We have peppermint and lemon. We have the uh, kind of red up respiratory. Our uh, respiratory system. We have Frankie, peppermint, and beads. And last is the skin and hair. So what works really well to support this area is Frank, lavender, and purification. No, no purification's not in there. Forget about purification, but in the other two are in there. Yeah, they put for okay, Bella. I've covered that extensively very well. So things have been sweating away. Whoa! Can I grab this or is it too high? No, it is hot, but I've got some gloves. I'm going to bring this uh, to you. And then just so you can see this. This is, oh, it smells amazing. And it hasn't got anything in it yet. <laughs> so, salt and pepper. Oh, we've done salt and pepper. Anyhow, we're going to add the rum and masala. Put a little bit of this. This is home tuned. Okay. Did you bring that from? Did you bring that? from home too. The cardamom. Why do you travel with your masala? Because you just don't know where you're going to get them. Okay, so we've got a little bit of. Do you guys like spicy or not too spicy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, spicy is good. Okay, just a little bit of the. Flakes? Very spicy. Nobody yeah. asked Dom. Nobody's oh, yeah. asked Dom. Oh, Dom's fine. He's, he's, he's uh, supposed yeah. to be better. Okay. Okay. better stuff really. So we're going to put this back. <laughs> uh, once we start to smell the aromas of these uh, spices, and the merchants way back in those days had the caravans crossing from one part of um, uh, yeah, India all the way to the other part of um, whatever it was. The capital, where was it? Asia. Asia. And these spices were worth a fortune because there's a lot of value in these spices. Not only do they make the food taste great, but there's a lot health, of benefits. Health benefits, yeah. yeah. Which pot was it? That yeah. one. This one yeah. here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll turn it up a bit. Yeah. Okay, seven. And just a little bit. When you smell it, just let me know. Uh, we're going to add the, oh, this is heavy. Uh, the eggplant, which I've, um, if you focus over here, eggplant. Okay. So it's been sliced, uh, washed, sliced, um, I've added salt from both sides, it's been draining, can you see that? It takes the bitterness out of the uh, eggplant. And then I've used some tissue paper, which is uh, somewhere around, I've used tissue paper to dry it off and then I've just uh, cut it. 
And this is a little bit I've got here just to show you. Um, cutting is pretty easy. Uh, depending on the size, just has to be coarse. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just has to be. And I'm going to grab those last two bits. Some more yeah, we'll grab some more packet towel. Uh, oh, and we've got the garlic. It's very it bites. We're going to add garlic to the dish. This is the pickled garlic. So the pickled garlic is going to add another dimension to this uh, dish. Because it's been pickling away. Now it's squashed. Hmm? Would you like it squashed or just... Oh yeah, you can bruise it a bit. Yep, that's okay. Yep. Okay, so this is a bit bigger, so we'll just do one there. essential oils will you be adding? Yeah, oh, we're going to add at the very, very, very end so we don't change any of the constituents of the oil. It's just uh, a few drops of uh, black pepper and we're going to add it onto our... Oh, here. Okay, and that's it. Anything else? No, are you finishing now? Okay. Um, I'm just going to come around. I just want to say thank you to Katharina for having our, his, her house and um, giving us a place to stay this week. Thank you so much. They're all part of and Dominic, part of our um, community. Yeah, and they've invited uh, some friends, mm -hmm. Chris and Diana. And also thank to Vito because you know without him there's no cooking in the house. I'll be starving. No. <laughs> um, but let me tell you, we've got more things coming up this this month. I know we're away, but we are on the ball. We will be doing um, oils of the Bibles. Keep in check, keep track to see when that's on. We don't know when we're going to get high fi so you just have to keep your eyes on your um, on your. Events, yeah, mm -hmm. on your events and your Facebook, and also uh, Ingrid's going to have a high frequency class. Wow. Keep an eye on that. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, yeah. for the dates to come out. Mm -hmm. And also Jackie Fiberg is going to do all the oils of Australian essential oils. That's oh, going to wow. be a series for two weeks. So while we're away, things are still happening, mm. um, and you never know. You know, by the time I get home. I'll um, catch up with the giveaways, but so far we've had a lovely time and we're going to eat yeah. healthily mm. from the garden, yep. like that. Everything's nearly from the garden and really healthy. So we'll see you guys next time and keep well above the wellness line yeah. and ciao for us now. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.